Welcome back. I'm excited though. Yeah. I want a 60 minute game this time. I have some of my favorite heroes being picked. I think some of the, I mean, Ark Warren, of course, being my right. favorite. Right. But uh, I also have the Brewmaster, the world's hardest hero in the history of heroes. <laughs> the world's hardest <laughs> hero. <laughs> So, yeah, why do you like the Phoenix to Tusk, Richard? Well, hold on. I think Playheart is actually in a little bit of trouble. They are using at least all that physical damage and the tag team to really get through these low armor heroes, and they will do so successfully for First Blood into the pockets. More immediate damage, which is certainly more useful against Death Prophet. Mm -hmm. Or if he thinks it's going to be a better lane, because it is better for last sitting as well. Yeah, it probably. Is. I think it's a little bit of both, right? Oh, Top lane. Up. Yeah, yeah, we're going to lose the Tusk immediately. X Nova. DP in passing, I've, I've brought them up both in passing. It's because this lane is actually quite boring to watch. Yes, decent body blocks from Corden, but uh, it really shouldn't result in too much other than just a bit of harass back and forth here. Oh, in the top lane though, Natsumi could be in trouble. Natsumi is being burnt to a curse here. The Arc Warden will barely live, 50 HP. It, it reminds me a lot of back in the day when, oh, no, oh, hold on, there's, there's some heroes here to gank. Back in the day when Yopaj was still alive, now unfortunately Ooh. he's dead. Nice trick with the X marks the spot. Good he's gonna die regardless. Very That's good cool effort. though. Yeah. Especially because they're going, by the way, for a double hand of Midas here on the two boom cores. What about thought? Because they are now making a play onto Natsume. Yes, uh, Masaru's leading, but not play hard together with Corden with the haste rune. That's going to be an easy kill on Natsume, who doesn't have the resistance to tank this. However, he does get a kill on Masaru's at least. Little counter kill, and does buy the Midas before he uh -huh. dies, which is pretty major. Oh, Yopash is farming instead. Corden. He stayed in this top lane. Remember the fluxes now, they still deal damage even if you're near creeps, but they don't slow. Gonna toss back. They're gonna try with play hard. Corden still using the spirit siphon on Natsumi. The snowball, they're right, saving from a little bit of damage as Yopaj joins as well. Zephyr gets glimpsed back, but Natsumi's already dead. And Zephyr, oh, he didn't get glimpsed back. That was the X that saved him, actually. They're gonna go into the triangle. They're gonna find Natsumi. They are gonna find Natsumi. There's a Yules on Corden. They have kinetic field still, and they trap him in it. Natsumi's dead. Wow, easy. Yes, really easy, easy. kill. Uh, Yopaj is nearby. Masaru is a little bit crazy. Whoa. He goes directly for X Nova. Yosuka should set up for something here. It's going to be the silence or the avalanche instead. As the bow tries to protect X Nova, it will hit Corden as the arrow does as well. Cinderbro on top has that X Storm to cover his retreat. Nice. Corden's not dying here, but he's not activating his exorcism either. He activated the magic wand first, just trying to save himself best he can. Unfortunately, the oh, Ooh, the Time wave. Bringer will finish him off. And they even catch Playhard with the X marks the spot. This is the, final, this is the first use of the split, and it worked wonders. As FBZ catches one last hero, it's going to be Dubu, triggers the Cinder Brew, and that's going to be two supports and a core. Dead. Boom. Finally, retaliates. But you would have to really mess with, like, the, the, the volume, or sorry, the pressure. No, but he and, calls it beer. And the temperature. He's I like know, this old he, man that lives in a village, and you go, and it's like, oh, you want to try you know my what? beer, son? That's, that's very true, yeah, and it makes you blind, quite literally. <laughs> there it is, full circle. Beer in your eyes, you go blind. There you go. Play hard. Has been hit by the X mark, sorry, by the Tidebringer first. Now the Cinder Bruce trigger by the Spark Race. Now the X marks the spot. Oh, wait, and they have a the Torrent combo plus Ghost Ship. They don't even need the Ghost Ship in the end, as now they use the Torrent for Dubu instead. He got hit by the Cinder Bruce too. And thanks to the extra attack speed, Dubu is also going to fall. Boom! They're coming into their okay. own. They're looking good, Richie. You, basically, almost any time he had Metamorphosis, right? Yep. And, and I do think Bleed need a little bit of that extra firepower here in this next couple of fights, while Yopaj is still as strong as he is with BKB. Okay, just goes for it. Throws a stone at the Phoenix. Only one bird, one stone this time, but they will catch the actual real stone on Playhard. Sunray not going to help him enough. They even go ship. Can they actually combine this properly? Ooh, that was a good Yules. Corden showing his young, uh, his, sorry, his youth there with his reflexes. Corden, though, will be stopped okay. now. Here he is. With a thunderclap. He's quite slow. Yeah, FBZ Jackie. could be in trouble. FBZ's going back in because he's been forced to due to that glimpse from Dubu. And unfortunately, Boom will be losing their offlaner, only taking Playhard down in the return. They did force a lot of things on cooldown. Yeah, but, but we can, yeah, exactly, convert this into a Roche. They feel pretty strong right now. They still have Supernova. Oh, they also have... Apparently, we have the Tempest double oh, activated. Gleipnir as well. Double Gleipnir, but Dubu barely survives. A little more chip damage. Natsumi's trying to send the clone, and it's going to be Yopash who kills him off with the Tidebringer. As Natsumi is fronting with that clone, they force a really defensive Supernova, now capable of retreating. Going back in, play hard to target. They're trying to get vision for the x marks spot, but he's not quite in range. If you're a core player, you start buying BKB. Instant plus 1,000 MMR. FBZ, he's going to break the smoke now. Yeah, he is. Uh, the only thing he's got to be careful for here is a static storm that would silence him. They can probably burst him in time. Yes, he oh. did flop to the Drunken Brawler's strength or the Earth just in case. They actually caught the poor Titan. Playhard might just die in the middle of his own static storm. 
Well, response. Oh, they even forced the exorcism from Gordon. Yeah. And then finish off Playhard first as they now go for Gordon next. But Playhard is quite tanky. Finally, the Ashards to kill him. As Corden leads the fray now, it's not the Yule Scepter, he knows, he's quite confident, they glimpse back, who is it? It's Exnova, into That's the good field, but a really nice Torrent catches two, resets the fight, Yule Scepter used on the Murana, who's now trying to run away with the Leafs, Zephyr will be hit by oh. one last hit from the TB, and that's going to be enough. As FPZ sets up more Super Brew, slowing everyone down. There's Round still two. a boat. There's still a boat and double There is, camp. and Jackie got hit, but that's the BKB to prevent the X versus spot. The snowball still will hit Corden. Do we have a wall response? Oh, we do Sunder. not Corden. He's gonna go back in. Natsumi is actually gonna add to the Sunder instead. Natsumi has the clone trying to kill Doom, but doesn't deal enough damage. As FPZ is being slowed by sorry, just hit by the Sunray. That was a final kill on Dubu. But not a good fight for Boom Esports. They force FBZ to, to ulti really early in the fight. True. He, he knew he knows he's gonna be glimpsed back into static storm. Ooh, you know, ooh. all these tiny little things. The X could not find the TB, and I mean fine, you lose Doom, but who cares? You just saved your TV's life. It was great warning. Over on the side, please. He sees an illusion, he's like, alright guys, I'm pretty sure they're at Roche. <laughs> Why is this illusion here otherwise? It's just not something they can look to contest at this stage. No. Masaros is gonna have to deviate. Oh, hold on, actually. He Masaros? might be dead? There's a, there's a blink on Natsumi, they weren't oh. expecting that. Yeah, there's a potential supernova using in the low ground here, oh, plus he the static storm, caught the Brewmaster here. Masters is dead, but so might be FBZ. Can he split in time? He's trying to use Magic Stick, he doesn't get the chance. Instead, Corden finishes him off as Dubu, almost like to the clone, but bleed. So I, I really, really like this idea from Boom. What? Rainbow TP's top lane. Interesting. Oh, they're going to go for Corden. Let's see if Dubu can surprise him. He is going to get rid of uh, the Tusk only for now. Corden trying to complete the TP, but there is the Cyclone here, and they actually dispel it in time for the arrow. What a play by FBZ. Yeah. He was dead regardless, but that was very impressive. Maybe now you can actually kill the Arc Warden. Yeah, he's got some pretty serious items. Kayan Sanj, and I think the big one, is, especially for Corden, uh, is going to be this full BKB. Great pickoff, too. Oh, very good. Zephyr even popped BKB there. I didn't even know he had a BKB. Yeah, me neither, but didn't save him. Did As not. they glimpse back the Kunkka. Will he BKB? Oh, he tries to be cheeky oh, with the Expert nice Spot lift. Combo. Nice and FBZ is saving him. That BKB is still off cooldown for, F for uh, Yopaj. They actually yields the Bruling. If you kill it, 60 second cooldown on mobility. Yeah, 80 I think even, a bit longer. No, it's 60. Okay. Oh, sorry, 70, 70. Ah, we oh, yeah, close, both right. Close, close enough, yeah. We average to be right. Oh, half of Kunkka's water park ready to be open. He's got this Torrent Storm. Okay, it's just the clone not doing stuff. As uh, Brewmaster is crazy, Yopash leading us well with him. Playhard is once again the target. They will close him in the ice shards. Beautiful ice shards yeah. by X Nova. Okay. Can they go for more? Yes, Natsumi with a blink dagger is capable of catching Masaros and Jackie. He's trying to force the egg here for Masaros. They dispel the cyclone immediately, really and Masaros good. is down as FPZ chase after Jackie. This is the promo split, so there is no oh, distance that he can't cover. They do have a ward. They're cycling the TB. Are they going to buy back to defend Jackie, or are they going to accept Jackie's death here? It seems like they're going to accept that Jackie's going to die. Maybe? Or not. Static Storm? The, that is a Sunder onto X Nova. Just okay, but it does keep Jackie alive as Natsumi continues with his clone. He has played there in four more seconds. Finds Dubu instead. Dubu seems like an easier target. He blinks over. Wait, they found the TV. Jack is going to die for the ghost ship. The water park's been activated too as the Clayton's top stop master of Icarus dive. He gets hit by Torn. He's forced to Supernova. So they have the attack speed. Zephyr commits the BKB for this. Wow. And the egg has been scrambled. Yopash's brains, though, are also about to be scrambled as there's too many ghosts trying to eat him up. He will fall. Corden with BKB, though, about to end. NPC still alive. We have the Arc Warden to deal with, and there's no Nobody with enough damage to kill Natsumi. Nerf me now, says Natsumi, as Boom Esports takes one more fight. I, and I think that's going to be the game-defining fight here, to be honest, in this matchup. Boom and Bleed. I think this one's all but over here. I think the push is going to be way too fast. There's no buyback here for Jackie. Saw him dispel twice there. Mass dispel on the Yule Scepter's condemning heroes, right? They, they knew this Phoenix Supernova was going to be a problem. That's why this Marana has BKB, so she can leap in and deal with that by herself. That bonus attack speed's no joke here. Oh my god. Did you see what happened to Playheart now with the Ags? He literally blinked in, and the uh, four sparklies hit him. He died! He died to the sparklies alone! Yeah, that's the tips. That that deserves a tip. Satanic on TV is going to help a little bit against the uh, constant glide here. Comes with a spell. Yo, oh. Maj, here's the title wave trying to get play hard, but not to miss a different target. It's going to be Masaros instead. As we hear the promo split as well, X marks the spot, play hard, avoids it with a blink dagger. Jackie trying to look for a Sunder target, just walking in. It's now Corden's turn to attack, and he's looking for X Nova first. As he 
that actually sends him back thanks to the Glimpse. Exnova will finally die. That's the Whoa. first kill for Bleed. They do get hit by a lot of spark rates, though. You gotta be a yeah. little bit careful. Gordon and round two is still viable. There's no egg any longer. There's still Sunder, so Natsumi has to respect this TB. Tidal Wave is ready, uh, but Yopaj will not use it just yet. For now, just Torrents. Natsumi might lose his clone here. Will they try to bait him out? FPZ nearby as well. No, okay. Clone's dead. And I think that's probably the sign to back up. Of course, Mike, when I need him. Wait, panda bears aren't bears? Jonathan, can you explain to this man? <laughs> <laughs> FTZ, he's just getting in there. They can just afford to send these expendable units up to the high ground. I think this pipe of Insight Aura is going to do to help out here. And they're just constantly... Oh, oh play, play hard. hard. The Avalanche, it does catch FPZ, they toss him back as well. FPZ Good needs some space. Storm. He gets at least a scythe of ice, and he's slasting through the static oh storm. My the tidal wave plus water park now catches Dubu as well. They kill off Monstros as if by accident. Jackie just a TP. Anything to cancel? Anything at all? They do! The X mark the oh, spawn. Come GG. back to play, Jackie. <laughs> GG is called, and boom, esports. They'll take it. Yeah. They'll take game number one against Bleed. They're actually they, looking very good now. They really did. I, mean, I think Kunkka CM is going to No, no, we're going to see a game tree. Oh, man. Okay. I can't wait to see how this lane resolves now. <laughs> this is like a fast lineup for Boom. What is the tempo looking like for Bleed? I think it's going to be a lot dependent here on Masaros's, Masaros's lane. Pardon me. Uh, maybe if you get a kill on the X Nova, that'll be, yeah, a huge help for him. We've seen how good this bear can be when you amp him up, right? Right. When you give him a little bit of space for him to amp up himself. And I do think, especially with this kind of a start, Masaros can be oh that kind of a God. hero. And what a nice tight burner. That's even better. <laughs> I mean, he had, he had an attack of dementia there on the merry-go-round. <laughs> I think he even has the animation to taunt, right, from Coddle. Isn't it? That's true. Jackie in the top lane. They found him not to be. He's actually joining level four, and he's already ganking. Jackie could be in trouble. That TP, it will not complete. FBZ even gets the last hit. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fast online build. We'll see if he TPs into this fight top lane as they do try and hit the boat onto play hard. Jackie thinking about going back on in, just kind of running circles and is going to eventually commit. Okay, that's Zephyr dead. Oh, Zephyr's field. very dead. <laughs> yeah. Hell, even honestly, this um, Rubik can probably clear your, your tree and oh. easily. Good smoke, though. Off yeah, the amazing reveal. smoke. We'll talk about this in a second because Yopash is about to die, though. He is not fast enough. He has been slowed, now lifted up in the air, and one last Crypt Storm will kill him off. Make a play. Sorry for Jackie. Okay, they try. The torrent misses, though. Jackie hits a bunch of creeps. In comes Natsumi yet again. We have Sprout ready as well. First, it's going to be the X marks the spot, plus the ghost ship. He activates the enrage to reduce Ooh. the damage and the stun time. Jackie tries to jump over the Kunkka, but Kunkka's a little bit too large. Instead, he gets overgrowth and killed. But in exchange, the tower mid will fall to blue. And it seems like this Rod of Atos and Glavemir combo is going to be in the quick buy for Natsumi. Rod of Atos nearly done. Glavemir a bit further than oh, that. Nice hoof stomp onto two. Blinding light to try to protect them, but it seems like Yopash could be, sorry, FPZ could be in trouble himself. I send them back into his doom. Natsumi, Natsumi. has been rooted as well, wow. and he's going to fall. And Zephyr tried to at least kill a centaur with a freezing field. Illuminate also hit him, but he's going to be saved by the Hood of Defiance. The, the double hoof stomp there was just way too good of a start there for Bleed to lose that fight. And now maybe they catch Natsumi top? Oh, they have an Atos on Natsumi, but that's not going to help him to save, uh, save himself with the Rubik. The TP will, though, with the Illuminate trying to heal him a little bit. Wow. But Natsumi's already dead, and Corden, Dude. he is going ham. He's trying to take the tower now with level 2 Exo. Uh, Playhard's got his hands on oh. that, and that is so punishing the amount of lockdown that they mm -hmm. have. Careful, though. FBZ? Yeah, FBZ versus Dubu, but FBZ unfortunately lacks the damage to kill his Enchantress. They need the vessel for this. Playhard's already back, joining. Though. We still have the Exorcism activated. That's going to be Zephyr dead already to the Spirit Siphon. Oh. Now chase after FBZ. Remember your lane, FBZ? Jackie wants revenge. And he's going to fight. Uh, BKB soon for Natsumi. He'll, he'll farm that Ooh. on the flash. Careful mid, though. Yopaj in trouble. He has been found out. Spirit Siphon plus the silence. Yopaj, she can't use the Blinding Light like this, and he's going to get bursted by the Fate Bolt before he yes, they, they attack. They cannot keep losing heroes like that. They need to get BKBs online like yesterday, but uh, each death is going to stagger these. This vessel's empty, and it's soon to be filled with the ashes of Exnova's body. Oh, no. Uh, Maybe Yags is an option to like become a more teamfight-oriented hero. Uh, this game already it just seems pretty hard for... Oh, it does. Boom. FBZ, oh, they still make just grass. Doesn't have BKB, by the way. Look, it's, it's great when Rubik uses it. FPZ, he's also going to die here in Rage. They used a little bit too early, could oh, get the no. spell off, but FPZ was too slow. Yeah, and they set back. Even, couldn't even force the BKB on Jackie either. He's got a pistol oh, on the way. Oh, stop. They go for Natsumi as well, and tried to bash right through, but they didn't Actually, get it this time. Natsumi gets sent back by yep. the X. That was Rubik's, though, and poor Nature's Prophet will also die. Halberd or not, this man is not surviving.
And then he's enraged. Masaros? It's either it's either that rage or all the cocaine look. in his system. I can't tell. Oh look, look, the, the horse worked. And they're now they're beating the old man on oh, the horse. No. The, the abyssal. abyssal. Oh, they have another geez. one. It's okay, they don't need it. Uh, okay, the sprout. That's gonna protect the, the racks for a little bit from the creeps at least. Jackie? He can get through it though. He has a battle fury. There we go. There we go. Revenge of the Trees, not gonna work on him. He's been disarmed and bleed. They played safely, huh? Of all the rocks. Listen, it's a pop play. culture reference, okay? We're safe. Oh, not to me? Not not to me? Uh, he deep into the middle of a center. Of uh, course he has dust. And then he's on a pistol. Oh, he just bashed him. him. Oh my god. Not to me. He was not expecting Masaros <laughs> to bash him twice. <laughs> Tsunami was right. First hit bash. First of all. Yeah, they gotta push. Oh, they're gonna actually oh, fight head right. first up top. Oh bang. Oh no. No, no, it's Someone not bang. FBZ it's said. FBZ. And I think FBZ is going to die here. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, he has two, and honestly, Boom can't stop him. So, I mean, this game is just really hard. Yeah. Yep, that's a dead Zephyr. Uh -huh. And also, Yol Punch, four steps. Maybe. Maybe that's enough. Flame Deer, counter attack from Boom. No, I, got, I gave him way too much. They're, they're, I, they have they, no damage. They can't stop it. It's just way too hard. Someone's dropped a gem. What player artist at least had his A on this box? <laughs> Maybe he's a kill. Yeah, he could be. But I don't see this scoreline FBT. moving from 6 to 21 that easily. Okay, he's trying. He's trying. Oh, and uh, Jackie tried to go for the main backman as well. It didn't work out. Level 25, by the way. Jackie has been slowed a little bit. Lotus Orb saving him from the Frostbite. In fact, counterattacking Corden. He's the one leading the fray now. Trying to finish off BZ, but BZ's quite tanking oh. Corden. He might have been off of a moment. Uh -oh. He He stuns a cheese, attacked the BKB first. That's BKB for Corden. Cheese still available. Gonna eat one. him immediately, and Corden's back to full HP. Jackie now attacks, and they finally get rid of Natsumi. That's the enemy carry done. No more damage to boot. With this, Zephyr should be in trouble as well as he gets Frostbit himself. That was Zephyr who stole it. He's going to die. Another steal from Zephyr that gets the Frostbite onto this Konka. They keep breaking oh, this tower. Monstros comes in with a Havoc Hammer, pushing them back. And they're going to find this Kano. Goodbye to Yoposh. A silent stop FPZ. He doesn't know what he can do. And they just call the GG. Yeah. Timber against Nature's Prophet oh. Omni. Okay, it's very good for the lane. It's very good for the lane. But is it that good for the game? They need a frontliner, yes. I also have to wonder, what is Dubu going to do in this lane then? Or rather, in other lanes, oh, perhaps bottom. down bottom. Yeah, Xnova. He has the glimpse that might save him. In fact, with a toss, they can even get a counter kill here on Masaros. Nice little Kinesis, putting Tatsumi away, but he does have Shadow Rays, the long one in a second. Masaros trying to get close to him because he knows which is coming off cooldown soon. But now the oh. mid range, they miss it. The short range, though, does hit. Masaros infused range up, will keep him alive, but not long enough for him to get the kill. There's not really easy kills on Boom, at least not on the cores. Um, Shadow Fiend is the only one. They should be obvious. So I'd expect Boom to just protect Natsumi as much as possible. Boss back on the tower. Yopaj is continuing, but Dubu, he purged those sticky naval stacks. Now the Flame Rink. They still have Lasso as well, but Kordak is double damage rune. There's a single bonk I was expecting. Oh. Up to the high ground he goes. Well done, Yopaj. He knew what the play was. He avoided it. Dubu. Yes, four sticky dip of stacks and ten seconds to the Heavenly Grace. Now five. Yopaj wants to finish him with auto attacks. He'll succeed. Now the lasso comes in. It's have a toss. But we still have... Oh, maybe not. Oh. The auto attack from Corden can't reach Yopaj, who still wants to go for Corden. Now as comes back, they give him a fairy fire, and they're going to get the kill on this Whoa. Bangalier. FBZ got a solo kill top lane, though, onto the Nature's Prophet oh. at the same time. Four unanswered kills from Boom. We've had DP in every single series in a patch where we don't see a ton of her. Oh, not to me. This is the game that I was expecting, right? Oh, yeah, this is oppressive. Nicely done. They needed to shut down Natsumi and get something somewhere. Jackie, though, will be glimpsed he back. killed Flayhard, by the way. But most importantly, uh, has no desire to be right next to Masaros in this next team fight. TP oh, out, dead. double raise, will collect the souls of Dubu. That's Masaros. He's going to be glimpsed back. Yep, no chance Dubu messes that one up, and that means another kill here onto the DP. She's even trapped by the creeps. Woo. Huh? No recourse for her. And now he's smoked up now with Dubu. Ooh, Natsumi clipped here by a little bit of the swashbuckle. They're going to make a play for this. Were they expecting this? Yeah, we already see a TP from Yopaj. Studying Natsumi once. The bomb works, plus the purification. But Natsumi had a magic wand. That's going to help him last a little bit longer. Perhaps it's settled for a counter kill as they go for Dubu next. Put him to the low ground. He heavily graces those sticky naval charges. And the guy, he's quite tanky. When they glimpse him back, this is the second assault, and Dubu unfortunately has no more tools to survive. You know, Masaros has not had the most phenomenal of games, and, well, I suspect he is cursing the name of the Batrider underneath his tongue right now, as, yeah, he's just gonna die here, honestly. It's that easy. Okay. I don't really know if DP can be the scaling hero anymore because, again, of the Spirit Siphon change no longer being percentage-based. I, I think you want a player for this early to mid-game spike. 
Oh, that illusion rune saves him a little bit of the avalanche, but doesn't get the rolling thunder that's, off. That's deep, by the and way. And he just got the diffusal blade, so they're stopping this timing. No smokes coming out for bleed now. Timber saw, of course, um, that you know can really that item can really look to threaten them. You're gonna have these greaves up soon. Hold that thought. Dubu is dead, sadly for him. That's not how he wanted to start it. But the Glaipnir coming online soon. And Playheart also going for an interesting item. He's actually I've never seen this on a Rubik. He's straight up rushing. Uh, no, I think he actually has shard already. Oh, he did shard. Yep. No, no, sorry. He, it's not it, no, it's hood. It's hood. It's hood. It's Corden getting the ball rolling as he looks to do mid. Because he's a hard target, but maybe not if he hit him with a glaive near. FPZ. Ooh, that was a nice sprout. Blocked his timber chain. So now Ooh, stolen is chakra up to die. And the stolen chakra, like you mentioned, is very important. Look at Corden. He's not afraid of death. And he's not afraid of disruptor either. But one miss bonked actually oh, puts him in danger of aesthetic no, storm. That was close. I think he actually dies if he has a little bit more mana there. Try to go up to the high ground here, and Masros will be the one to block the smoke. Not bad, actually, because he has Greaves. So yeah, very good. He's probably the tankiest FPZ. They kill an Illusion there, because I thought the Illusion was actually the one that broke the smoke. They didn't quite see Masros who do nighttime. Now they finally see him. He stuns Greaves, though. Activates it. Might just die. Not to be however, oh, activates the BKB, and he's just staying there, hitting the Pango. Dubu might be the next to fall as the Whirling Death claims his life. Feeling too confident going for this play either. Natsumi, Ooh. even though he got the BKB off, not feeling great here as play hard. Has stolen Requiem, by yes, the way. Yes. So and he has the same amount of souls as the Shadow Fiend had when he casted it. He does, and he also casts us instantly. Ooh, that Static Storm. Oh, no, he doesn't. Pardon me. I thought he used to. No, it's a little channel turn. But it seems like this will fall a bit too quickly. FPZ, another shock him into the pit. Maybe he gets a kill here. No, not quite. The toss in, though. Dubu sends him to the front lines, maybe to just die, but he gives vision. In yeah. goes Corden. Yeah, Corden covers his captain's escape, and now Corden himself is escaping. They got away with it, Richie. Use basically everything that they have at their disposal in their toolkits to take that. Masaro is once cool? again in position to break this smoke. That's exactly what you want. Yeah, but you'll still get a cord. Not that bad for Boom, and they can at least get Masaro because right now they just lost Zephyr, but they can't kill him. Garden Angel will keep him alive. Wow. He's actually healing on the spirit wow. side. Masaro is a little bit too tanky. X Nova stuck in the high ground. Masaro is still not dead. Heals himself up with the Greaves. Now FPZ does deal a lot of damage to Cord, but he doesn't quite get the timber chain off. He's been slowed. He's been tossed, and he's been killed. Phenomenal spell casting by the sports of bleed there I really really you're thinking actively about your item decisions and what kind of impact your hero can have in these games is we'll see him get tossed back you will try not to be sent flying oh. unless you have the cover of Dubu who gets the heavenly grace before he gets feared very impressive look at job. the heels look they at the heels stopped Corden, though he's stuck in the kinetic field static storm but there's no fall final the lasso comes out the damage now is good Corden's dead but Zephyr as well Don't play hard. he stole the requiem and he used it to grab Natsumi who's more than happy to keep on hitting and tries to kill play hard but it just seems like Dubu They're just too tanky. is saving everyone in these fights they're too tanky man they can't kill him they have to kill Dubu first but he's tanky himself I think you need to really reevaluate evaluate the the state of the game oh my god <laughs> okay uh, sorry uh richie which is indisposed for a second he got hungry <laughs> we got hungry podcast. yeah and an insect helped him out anyway Corden, <laughs> he's gonna roll right in going for the disruptor here Let's see if they can kill him off. The chakra from Solon by the Rubik as well. It's sufficient, and Corn actually gets out. Garden Angel will be saving him. Masaros, not he is not concerned. They actually canceled his TP on Matsumi. He TP in the middle of this with no BKB active, oh, no. which means Telekinesis just punishes him. A Wrecking of Souls fails, and once again, not on the same page. It's hard to tell if they want to retreat or not, but they keep getting caught with their pants down. You kind of need something to that degree, the way that this game is devolving. And maybe even not that much maybe you just need someone a little bit out of position nope. this is oh uh oh this uh, no, is not to seem to be out of position me yeah they got the wrath of nature there with the excavation not the cost, though, that ward was static storm maybe they can at least kill the rubik but he seems to be too strong the pipe is keeping him alive static storm just tickled him pipe and dubu a little bit there as well fpz gets hit by the chakram now bunk 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 dead yeah and i think that's why they kind of want to take a fight out of the base going out back actually for the silver edge but that was pretty close there for a second. Whoa. Oh, oh they, they saved him with the heavenly grace. The fear barely did anything here Dubu. because of the pipe. What a gamer. Someone stop this Omni Knight. They're sending Tiny back. He's and now dead. they're sending him down to his grave. 
There's buybacks, but this is starting to get real oppressive. Jackie's got very little reason to leave the base. He has ages. He's got almost twice the net worth. Of yes, and the moment Natsumi gets close to the vicious, he gets blown up. It's forced to BKB TP. There's the Kinesis. There's him getting close. Can they claim near him? They do have a four step. His own Hurricane Pike, actually, and the toss will at least ensure that Natsumi doesn't die. But the racks cannot be tossed. The racks cannot be moved. This is not a Terran game, so they will be destroyed here. It's true. They can't fly the buildings to the corner of the map and no. try and live. Even Masters then, has even then Jackie would chase them down. He is that far ahead. There's oh. the toss back. Zephyr does want to chase it now. Corden immediately rolls up, rolling thunder. And now they kill oh, Zephyr, no. who it's committed suicide for this play. Oh. They even save Corden with that Garden Angel. Oh, Epizius has got eggs. They glimpse him back. They need something to That's dispel something. it. That's that something. was enough magic damage to kill him. They don't have Lasso for 40, though. They can't get anyone else into the fountain while Zephyr's dead. Jackie, he just wants to be left alone so he can hit the racks. He is going to kill Epiz, it seems like. Finally, with a root, a little more damage. Epiz is tanky enough to survive as Maseros makes sure to act like a stopper. But so nobody can get close to Jackie. But the, but the racks are done. Yeah. They're going down the ooh. play hard glimpse back he has a pipe though activated immediately he might just die to the physical damage heavenly grace helping him out there's a chakram as well from fpz play hard might have to accept death one last to is for the boys as he falls all the racks though have fallen as well now they're going for dubu this pesky support they'll get rid of him but they have to face they mega creeps they, next. They need more. They need more. Jack is going to BKB TP. Lasso is ready. They will commit it. Okay, Masaros is also in trouble. He doesn't have the BKB TP himself. That the STP already got is spent. But Jackie's fighting back. Jackie's gonna Masaros, fight though, he's going to go down. And Jackie, he's finally met his equal. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Four people not strong enough to kill Jackie. No more Jackie, Titanic. showcasing why. He should have never left Boom. Hey, but now creeps. they finally get rid of his first life. Corden is running. He's TPing to the tier two. No, no, he's in a no, farm. He doesn't I, care. Jackie, yeah, Jackie he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> okay, that's, that's... I got too excited. That's the more that they needed. Well, sure, I wasn't even... I was going to just go in this game. But oh, now, okay, okay. he is strong. He has a Scepter, and he is going to shut up all these bullies quite literally and mute them at the same time. Oh, unfortunately, FPZ is getting caught. Oh, no, their fat friend's dying, however. FPZ, you can't deal without him. He's going to fall at he's, this rate. Well, he is dead enough. FPZ, no. no, he got caught. At least he Pango. gets his revenge. Corden's dead. One of the boys is oh. down. They're going for the Omnip next. The that was a nice toss, but Dubu gets saved by the Aeon disc. And now okay. tier four is exposed. There's Exo, Jackie getting to work as well. Radiant it's now or never for Boom. There's no Static Storm. Radiant that is the, and no Lasso actually. No Lasso, no Requiem, and I, no BKB on okay, this SF. You're, you're out of ultimates. Okay, why are you trying to deny your tower? Not to me, it's not the moment. Nah. Toss back. They do go for Masaros. Force. He's a tankiest hero, however, and he's getting the Exo heal. They try to time it perfectly with Zephyr. Zephyr he's just going to die to this. There is no chance. Now the tower is starting to fall. One tier four left. There's fire everywhere, but there's no impact from it. But it's just the hopes of Boom going to Lima burning here. It's not It's not enough. Boom, they need more of a bleed. Uh, relentlessly beating them back. As Natsumi is desperately trying to defend against the Treants, now fighting Jackie head on. Natsumi, he's trying to do one oh. last fight for the boys. He's got he will die. He has okay, to he had a that. second fight. He has a second win. Can he do it? He, he. No. X Nova gives up. The bullies have won, Richie. X Nova, he will not be able to win this series, and boom, will remain unvictorious. Unvic